So the dirtiest player in the NBA, and I would even go as far to say arguably the dirtiest player in NBA history, Draymond Green, he who must not be named ever again on this channel. We do not speak his name. That is just how much I dislike this person. Just went on to the Shaquille O'Neal podcast and called out Stephen A. Smith for the things that he said about Draymond Green after Draymond Green has been assaulting players for the past, I don't know, eight years in the league. He had a problem with what Stephen A. Smith has said about him, even though Stephen A. Smith has taken up for him more than anybody else. I haven't talked to him much since. Stephen A. Smith really pissed me off. And he's like, yo, it's been hard for a lot of us to talk about you these last few, few days, okay? It's been hard for me to watch, but I'm watching it because I want to see everything that everybody has to say. Stephen A., anytime I meet someone and they say something about you, it's never like, yo, I like him. He cool. It's always like, man, f that dude. He a character. He's this, he's that. And I always say back, I actually know the guy. I'm like, the guy is actually a cool dude. And then you get the opportunity to talk about me. And listen, I know you got a job to do. I know you got to do your thing and say what you got to say. But at not one point did you say, well, y'all are saying this person is up and this person need help. Now I know the person. Say what you want about the basketball player, that's fine. But I know the person. And by the way, it just wasn't him. To sit back and see those that claim to know and appreciate me as a human being, just flow with the narrative because it was easy to do. I lost a lot of respect for a lot of people. What the fuck are you saying, man? I, I just wanted, it was hard for me to watch. I just wanted to sit back and just see what other people were going to say. Oh, oh, no, we we know. We can tell. Because, one, Stephen A. Smith, even though he was a little critical of you towards the end when you just kept doing it back to back, initially he was taking up for you and, and me and I'm sure most other people sitting at home like, how are you defending Draymond Green's actions? Pow, right in the kisha. 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 I have voices in my head. Damn, they talk to me. He can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. He won't. But this is how we know that you was watching Draymond Green. This is how you, we know that you was actually paying attention to what people are going to say. Because when we was watching what everybody else saying, Vince Carter, Kenny the Jet Smith, all these other pundits on TV, we watched them talk about this story as if you were just out there barely doing anything to people. And I'm sitting back like, it's, are, are my eyes betraying me? Is Draymond Green not out here assaulting people? Yet, if you listen to the people on TV, you would think that this man wasn't doing anything and that it was up for debate. It wasn't my intention um, to make that, that contact, any contact at all, really. Like I said, I was spinning away and trying to sell the file. And unfortunately, bad luck. <laughs> Psychologist, what so, yeah, I probably what struggle the? with psych. Brother needs a hug. <laughs> Brother needs a hug? Like, you're making a joke out of this. This man is constantly assaulting people, bro. The NBA, by not dealing with Draymond Green accordingly, is putting other NBA players at risk. Other grown men out there just having to take being assaulted because it's in a basketball game, and he has to just deal with the consequences, if any. He is an animal. Because what we're about to see from these other players, they're going to try to walk a fine line because they're friends with Draymond Green. So they don't, they don't really want to say what's all the way what's true. Let's talk about your mental capacity and your mental state. You need to go and see someone. Something's going on in this man's personal life that needs to be addressed because he's taking it out on people on the basketball court. Period. Yeah. There's plenty of ways to sell a foul. And... He chose the wrong way to sell a file, in my opinion. Mm. Because if he's... In your opinion? Vince Carter, what you talking about? In everybody's opinion. Shaquille O'Neal goes on national television and says he doesn't need counseling. The man don't need counseling. Draymond Green does not no, he need does counseling. Not need counseling. What does he... He, he doesn't... What are you talking about, bro? What does he need? He needs to be suspended. If you ask me, he needs to be banned from the league. Because if any other player was doing the stuff that Draymond Green was doing, they would... Bro... People have gotten worse punishment for doing a far, a lot less. Draymond Green talking about th th your history and what you've done in the past shouldn't factor into what you do on the basketball court. Yeah, it should. If you've assaulted people four times already this year 
and then you turn around and choke somebody for 15, 20 seconds and, and refuse to let them go when you have a reputation from doing this, that should be factored into it. Draymond Green, let me tell you why I don't like Draymond Green. He's a bully. Draymond Green isn't just a bully. Draymond Green is a delusional bully. Draymond Green just isn't a delusional bully. He's a sensitive delusional bully. But wait a minute. Draymond Green isn't just a sensitive delusional bully. Draymond Green is a sensitive delusional bully that is manipulating his way into media. Can somebody, anybody explain to me why or how Draymond Green is on the inside the NBA crew? How? Go to the comment section. Nobody wants to see or hear from Draymond Green. First of all, he's only on TV, if you ask me, because he's anti-Rudy Gobert. I mean, every chance this, this man gets, you can tell why he's on, the only reason he's up there. He's up there to criticize Rudy Gobert. He's jealous of Rudy Gobert. He's envious of, of Rudy Gobert because he's a defensive player. Rudy Gobert is a defensive player. Oh, and, and did I also mention that they have history? And all of a sudden, Gobert comes in, and Draymond's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, it's chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. And then Draymond, he, he headlocked Gobert there, so. <laughs> Listen, I just want to interrupt for just a sec to say, if you are enjoying this video, I ask that you please hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, if you want to help the channel, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It help pushes my video out there. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my second channel if you have not subscribed yet. Link is in the description. Draymond Green is discussing this, talking about, did you hear the part where he said, as if the player and, and the person is the same? What? You mean to tell me it, that's up for debate that you can be on the basketball court constantly assaulting people. The most that you get is a is a suspension where it didn't even last that long. You went to, to, to receive some counseling and then you're right back playing like nothing happened. You mean to tell me that's not an indictment? on your character as a person, what you're doing on the basketball court, that's not up for debate, bro. It's not an opinion if you're crazy or not. You're crazy. The sky is blue, that's not an opinion. Sexy Red's music is trash. That's not an opinion. <laughs> Sucks, I wanna kill myself. Drake lost to the Kendrick in the beef. That's not an opinion. He lost, despite the fact that he just got on Sexy Red's song and then rapped to the BBL Drizzy beat as if that was supposed to like flip the narrative. Nah, bro, you're proving Kendrick's point. But I get besides the point. But this interview that he did with Shaquille O'Neal where he called out Stephen A. Smith is a prime example of how you know that people have relationships behind the scenes that manipulate what people are and are not saying on TV. And I don't mean to say that as if that's supposed to be news. I'm sure a lot of you all knew that already. Draymond Green has a relationship with a lot of these people that's on TV. Draymond Green is in media himself, and he's trying to break his way into mainstream media, right? Sports media, that is. And you can tell. Because when they talk about Draymond Green, clearly what all of us seeing and what we're feeling and what we're thinking at home, which is this man is a lunatic, they don't have that same note. And it's because they know they're going to have to see Draymond. They know because they're going to have to sit beside Draymond at some point, right? And they don't want to, they're just saving themselves the trouble. Not to mention, some of them might genuinely be afraid of Draymond. Because he's a lunatic. Stephen A. Smith goes on ESPN talking about, oh, I'm so glad that I saw this when I saw it. Because if I'd have saw it before I went on to my podcast, I, I just have no idea what I would have said. I, I just have no idea. Like, what does that even mean, bro? You have no idea what you would have said because you would have been, you would have shown and spoken with a lot more vitriol if you would have spoke on your podcast. Well, we understand why you didn't say it on ESPN for obvious reasons. But how about you just be honest no matter what? Because Draymond Green called out the one person that you shouldn't even call out because Stephen A. Smith been taking up for you. Which goes to show me once again that this dude is delusional. He wants to be pampered. People that's in his personal life, people that's in at, at the uh, Golden State Warriors organization pampers him. When you're assaulting your own teammates, when you're kicking other men in the private parts in this, multiple times in the same game, when you're choking people for 20, 30 seconds in a ball game, when you're constantly getting into fights, that's not just standing up for your teammates. And listen, for anybody hop in the comment section and say, oh, oh, the league is so soft and you all been complaining about how soft the league is and now you have somebody. Listen, it's not that black and white. There's a difference. Two things can be true at the same time. 
We don't want the league to be this soft, but we also don't want players to be getting hurt. Draymond Green is literally attacking people and pretending like he's not doing it. We're not idiots. Go. The audience not dumb. Shape the stories how you want. Hey, Drake, they're not slow. Hop in the comment section, man. Give me your thoughts. Do you watch the NBA? Have you seen this craziness from Draymond Green? Are you wondering like we wondering? How is he even on TV? How do you have the reputation that you have and you get to, you deserve and you get a spot on television? How? Nobody wants to hear from you, bro. We know that you have an agenda, bro. This is proof, in my opinion, that media is corrupt. This is the last person that should be on television right now. Oh, yeah. Diddy got a podcast.